Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to story time. Today, we are going to be reading Hansel and Gretel. Let's have a look. A woodcutter lived in a large forest with his wife and two children called Hansel and Gretel. The family was very poor and there was no money to buy food for them all. We cannot afford to feed the children, said the woodcutter's wife. You must take them into the forest and leave them there. But how can I do that to them, said the woodcutter. They will be eaten by wolves. But you must, said the wife, or we will all starve. Hansel and Gretel were too hungry to sleep and overheard her parents, their parents. Don't worry, said Gretel, I have a plan. The next day, the children's father gave them each a lump of bread and took them deep into the forest. Gretel dropped crumbs behind them as they walked. So that we can find our way back again, she whispered to Hansel. When they reached the middle of the wood, the woodcutter told the children to sit down. I'm going to go cut wood, he explained. Wait here until I fetch you. The children waited and waited, but their father never came back. When night started to fall, Gretel turned to her brother. Right, she said, time to go before the wolves come out. But when the children began to follow the trail of breadcrumbs, they found that all the hungry creatures of the forest had already eaten them. Gretel started to cry. Now we will never find our way home. Don't worry, Hansel said, comforting her. As long as we stay together, we will be all right. Let's follow, follow this little path. It looks as though someone has passed this way recently. They followed the path a little way until it opened into a hidden clearing. And in the middle of the clearing was a house. What an amazing house it was, built completely out of food. The roof was made of chocolate, the walls of gingerbread, everything was decorated with candies and cookies and icing. The hungry children fell upon the house, breaking off small pieces and cramming them into their mouths. Suddenly, an old woman appeared. Why are you eating my house, she asked, when there is plenty of food inside? She welcomed them in and gave them a feast fit for a king. You must sleep here tonight, she said. I will take you home in the morning. I told you we'll be safe, said Hansel. We'll be back home tomorrow. And perhaps we can even ask to take some food for our parents. But in the morning, Hansel was woken up by the old woman dragging him into a small hut. She threw him in and locked the door and hung the key on a high hook. I'll feed you and feed you, she cackled. And when you're fat enough, I'll have such a feast. Uh -oh. Then she woke Gretel roughly. Wake up, lazy bones, she said. There's work to do in the kitchen. She made Gretel work all day cooking for Hansel to eat. But she would not let Gretel eat anything herself. Luckily, Hansel saved some food for his sister and gave it to her when the old woman was not looking. After a couple of days, the old woman wanted to see if Hansel was fat enough to eat. Poke your finger out, she ordered. Let's see how much fat you put on. Hansel poked out an old chicken bone instead of his finger. That's too thin, the old woman complained. You're not ready to eat yet. <sighs> Suppose I'll have to wait. Time passed, Hansel grew fatter, and Gretel too. But every time the old woman wanted to see if Hansel was ready to eat, he stuck out the same chicken bone. Before long though, she could not wait anymore, and she made Gretel light the oven. I don't care if he's not ready to eat yet, she said. 
I am hungry for meat. And she told Gretel to get in the oven to see if it was hot enough. But I don't know how, said Gretel. Will you show me? Silly goose, said the old woman. Like this. The minute the old woman leaned over into the oven, Gretel pushed her all the way in and slammed the door shut. She grabbed the key to Hansel's hut and went to let him out. Before they escaped, they looked through the house to make sure there were no other captives. There was no one else there, but they did find a little box of jewels taken from other people the old woman had imprisoned. Gretel put this in her pocket and the two children ran into the forest. They wandered for hours, lost, until suddenly they heard the sound of trees being chopped. Father! Father! they shouted and ran towards the sound. They found their father cutting down trees. It's a miracle, he said. I thought you were dead. How I have missed you. I sent my wife away after what she made me do. The two children hugged their father and he promised never to let them go again, however poor that they might be. Let's go home and celebrate, he continued, even though there's still no food to eat. Never mind about that, said Gretel, pulling out a box of jewels. With these, we can buy all the food and drink that we will ever need for the rest of our lives. The and oh that was a beautiful story goodbye everybody